Welcome back guys to a new video here on the channel. This video I'm going to be showing you how to install Scriptook V and Scriptook V.net. Alright. So this is pretty simple. Um Yeah, it definitely is simple. So you wanna go to the link in my description for dev C and then GitHub. And for Scriptook V, you want to go down, and then you see here download, and then so this version I'm um, downloading now. It could be a different version, but it is the exact same installation. All right. So my version is 1.0.2372.0. It could be different for you guys, um, but it doesn't matter really. You see here, it says download, and then you want to press this link. If you're a developer, you can press download SDK, but just hit the normal download. You see here, scroll down, hit download, and then it will download. You also need WinRAR if you don't have that already. So just go to winrar.com. I can link that below too and just download it. I'm not going to show that today though. Um, and then for here... We got scriptookv.net version 3.1.0 is the one that's live now. So you want to scroll down and then you see this little cube and it says scriptookv.net. You click that and it's going to download. All right. So then you want to find um, your GTA 5 directory. So mine is in hard drive. And then if you have it on Steam, you're going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Steam Apps again, and then Common, and then it's going to be there. Or inside of Steam, I don't have it on Steam. I only have three games here. But let's say Core FIFA 21, for an example. Also, I recorded this on 13th of September, so that's why I don't have FIFA 22, if you guys are wondering. I'm going to get Okay, so you want to press Properties. It's going to say it in Swedish here. But just look at where I click and then local files you see third one from the top and then you want to click browse and it is going to open your GTA 5 directory all right so that's for Steam for Epic Games you just go to your Epic Games folder and then GTA 5 so it should look like this maybe not as many files but at least it should have like all of these x64 files and then update x64 and it shouldn't have it should have half as many folders as i got um but you want to open the winrar um directories you don't need to extract them because it extracts when you drag and drop them so in uh, for script took v um the that directory you want to go into the bin folder Take d input a dot dll and script v dot dll and you want to drag and drop them into your directory. I already have it there, so I'm not actually going to do it. And also, if you want native trainer, you can do that. Although, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install a way better um, menu called Menia. It's you can get native trainer if you just you just drag and drop it in here and then in game you just press f9 to open it up i personally don't like it at all but i mean if if this is your first time modding and you don't want to uh, like mess around with any more mods and just play now definitely do it but i'm not gonna do it because i personally don't like it at all but for scriptv.net, you want to drag and drop all of these. scriptv.net.isi, isi, asi, ini, dll, xml, dll, xml. All of these, except the license and readme.txt files. Drag and drop them into your main directory. So if you don't know what the main directory is, it's basically the GT5 folder called the grand theft auto 5 or gt5 okay um so this is what you call a main directory and then i'll show you guys the scripts folder we've got the mods folder like it's important to remember these i don't know what it's called but you know these words basically but 
I think there's a certain certain word for it. But just drag and drop these six files in here. I'm not gonna do it because I already have them, and I don't know if there's any data stored to them or anything. Yes, because there is an I and I. So you're not done yet because I'm gonna set you guys up for installing scripts. All right. So as you can see here, I got a scripts folder. So what you wanna do is right click this empty space click new folder name it scripts all lowercase all right i'm not gonna do it because i already have one obviously um so here you're gonna put all of your scripts all right um as you can see i got a bunch of scripts um but yeah so the mods folder um i've shown you guys i got a i don't know if that is out yet um but an open iv how to install open iv video um so that's gonna show you guys how to get this mod fo mods folder but that doesn't matter for script mods but you guys can go ahead and check that video out um but yeah so you're basically done now there isn't you don't need to launch the game or anything because like there isn't really anything to check here so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed hope it helped also i would appreciate so much if you guys subscribe to my channel it means a lot and also if you join my discord server link is in the description you can get help with modding you can get help with this is what it looks like currently. Um, so, oh shit. Okay. Um, so there's now 13 members, including the bots, obviously. But I appreciate it when you guys join it. So here is the rules. Um, here I will post general information. My Discord actually got hacked, so I created a new one. Here you can get alerts for new videos. If you don't want that, you can just um turn off notifications for that video and then you can create suggestions so you just press plus suggest and then what you want to suggest and then here you can get help with modding you can just chat here you can send memes and then there is a bunch of voice channels as well so it would be fun if you guys joined you can chat with me do like if you need help with modding i'm gonna answer you guys as fast as possible so I would appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.